Well, quite a dramatic Nations Cup in more ways than one here in Spruce Meadows this afternoon. Not quite the landslide we would have expected at the halfway stage from the Irish who were on a zero score, but at the end of the day they won comfortably enough. He can have one down. But no more. And he can't have a time for Giving this horse the ride of a lifetime. He is a very, very good jockey indeed. And this horse wouldn't be the easiest ride in the world, but my goodness, it does jump. Three fences. One fence, he can have it down and still win. But he's not going to do that. And what a round there for Cameron Hanley. A brilliant round there for Ireland and Cameron Hanley. Yeah, great day. Um, always no lovely to win. Lads did a fantastic job. Um, I really need to I want to compliment them. A fantastic team effort, and um, a particular word of thanks to the uh, all the owners who, who who gave them such wonderful horses to ride for our country. It's, it's just a wonderful achievement. Thank you. It's, it was just fantastic. The two teams that go forward now are the USA and Canada. They go to Barcelona for the final of the Furia FEI Nations Cup in September. Um, it's really important. It's a great thing for our nation. It's a great thing for our riders and owners. So I think everybody involved in show jumping should be really thrilled. Well, today was just fine. I think that will solidly qualify us for Barcelona, which was our a big uh, goal of ours today. We'd be very excited to do the Nations Cup finals, and I, that absolutely uh, uh, seals our seals the deal. And I was so pleased with Eric's new horse, Tiffany's new horse, Matt Cohn, tremendous recovery from our last Nations Cup in Wellington, and very pleased with my own horse, Dixon, so no complaints. We're off to Rotterdam next week. Do join us on FEI TV there. But from Calgary here from this afternoon, thanks for joining us. Bye-bye for now.